seat On a fucking helicopter, double C No Chanel, cause she's bad, bad, bad Ride it, got a socket, I can cup you a new Rari Let you ride it, now you're rap and you're bad, bad, bad No plan, no Atari, I won't play with you for nothing I can eat you like her bachi, cause you bad, bad, bad I just took the doors, all the guinea, now I'm riding And I'm sliding in the sideways, now she call me her side What's up, y'all? Welcome to SKP TV If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe Comment, share, and turn on my post notification bell if you've been here before, welcome back. As you can see by the title, today I will be doing an assumption video. These assumptions came from my Instagram and Snapchat followers. And I also will just be doing my hair because I look crazy. But with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so first off, let me part my hair. I'm going to do a side part. Um, I don't really wear... Uh, I don't have the the my comb right now. It's downstairs, and I'm not gonna get it. Ouch. Okay, so Okay, so, um, I'm about to get into these assumptions. Just let me part this first. Um, okay, so, assumption number one says, I knew you were going to be a hustler because you've been a hustler since I've known you. I remember middle and high school when you sold snacks and now you own two businesses. Well, thanks for always believing in me. You feel me? Like, thanks for believing in me. Um, but, yeah. I knew I was going to be my own boss. Because before, I'm like, okay, I want to be a fashion designer. I want to have my own brand. So... It was going to be something, whatever it was. Assumption number two. When I first seen you, I thought you was going to be mean. But now that I know you, you are one of the sweetest people I know. A lot of people always say I look mean just by my facial expression. But honestly, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Um, I like... I go off energy, so if you come in a room and you look mean, I'm going to look mean. Like, I ain't going to be trying to be extra friendly to somebody that's not being friendly to me. But if you be like, no, I'm not going to say that. If you come in a room, like, I'm going to speak, but I just, like I said, I go off energy, so. If I don't feel like no energy is good, then it's just like, I ain't even going to fuck with you. And that's just the honest to God truth. Um, assumption number three. LOL, I thought you was going to be one of them stuck up females, but you cool down earth, motherfucker. Nigga, it's like, no, let me not do that. But you've been my best friend. I've been knowing you since I was in, what, seventh grade? Back then, you thought I was going to be stuck up? Like, what the heck? How? How and why? Why do people always think I'm going to be mean? I'm probably one of the nicest people. You will ever meet. Like, for real, for real. I'm super nice. Um, assumption number four. I thought you was bougie. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, I thought you was bougie. Um, first off, I'm not bougie. Never been bougie. I hate bougie people. Like, 
honestly, God, I hate bougie people because of the fact that why are you being bougie? Like, like honestly, because this is why I hate bougie people. Because you can have something today and they can all be gone tomorrow. So you need to be humble. Like, I hate, like, people that be trying to act like bougie. And I also hate, like, okay, like, females. If you don't want to give a nigga a chance, that's cool. But don't try to be, like, no bougie-ass female. Like, niggas don't like no shit like that. Like, a nigga not even going to want to be your friend. You try to act bougie. Like, I know a couple females that has been, like, real, real that's been bougie all their life. Like, oh, shit. But I know a couple females that's been bougie all their life. Like, you have no reason to act like that. You ain't nobody. Like, why are you being rude or being bougie to somebody? Like, you can simply say, oh, I don't want to talk to you. Or just, I just hate people that try to act like bougie. Like, no, I really, really, really hate bougie people. Um, number five, that mama should have just left you in a trash can. I begged, I begged her. Now she wish she would have. Bitch. I mean, oops. Pardon my language. Shut up. Like, she should have left your ass. She should have left you where she found you. Down the block. That's what she should have left you at. Talking about she should have left me in a trash can. Y'all, let me tell y'all. All my life, my sister, the one who um, commented that, she said that, ouch, that she used to tell me that I was adopted. She used to tell me that they found me in a trash can. Behind Farmer's Jacks and a garbage bag that I'm not their real sister. When I was a kid, I used to cry because I believed her. And I don't know why I believed her because I, just, I look just like my goddamn daddy. So, I believed her and... I wasn't doing nothing but hurting my own feelings because I look just like everybody in the family. But I was just a little kid and I believed anything anybody told me. That was my own fault. <clears throat> this next one says, I thought you seemed cool. I was confused on how you knew my family and not me. Um, well, you were never around but uh i went to school with two of your cousins um oops. i went to school with two of your cousins and um your other cousin we all just used to hang together we knew mutual people and then we all like used to be together be together y'all these are the best flat irons these titanium these are the best ones Maybe to get hot as hell. But, ouch. Me and your cousins used to just hang out. And then, your boy cousin, he, because I hung with his sister, he started coming around without her. Like, with his friends. They used to all be over here. And then, like, I always knew about you, but I didn't know who you were, like. But you used to date my cousin, and he used to always tell me about you, but I didn't know 
that he was talking about too. Like when we got cool, I didn't know. So, um, the next one says, first impression, she's cu she's cute and has a lot of friends. <clears throat> well, thank you for calling me cute. You're pretty too. Um, I didn't really have, you met me in ninth grade. I didn't have a lot of friends. I knew a lot of people. I didn't have a lot of friends. Like, everybody knew me. Because I went to Bernie and I went to Levy. And I know a bunch of people from Thompson. Because I used to go to Steel Zone. So, that's why I know a lot of people. But, I'm trying. But um, I didn't have a lot of friends. Ouch. Um, now I love you more than ever. Truly a great friend, but bitch, I don't like you. That go to question number six. Um, I am a great friend, and you're a great friend. You're my best friend. We argue and we have our ups and downs, but you're a great friend. One of the real friends I've ever had. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you don't like me. Girl, you love me. And that's period. Too. Um, this next one says, I haven't met you before, but I would love to. Seems like you have, you've got a lot of love. Seems like, first off, I just read this one. Haven't met you before, but I would love to. Seems like you got a lot of love and kindness in your heart and that you're, you are really a good person and there's nothing to compare how beautiful you are. Um... First thing I'm going to say is thank you for the compliments. But um, I don't know, like, I don't meet people on social media. But thank you for the compliments. This next one says, me. You look stuck up, but you really cool as hell and sweet. Um, why do y'all keep saying I look stuck up? What is the definition of somebody looking stuck up? Like, because I'm not, I don't be smiling. That mean I look stuck up, or I don't just be like, I don't know. How can I look stuck up? Like that don't make no sense to me. But I ask for assumptions, so. Or, oh, well, you assumed I was stuck up. But why? Like, I don't even look stuck up. I'm not rude. None of that. How would I look stuck up? I don't know. Y'all, I don't purse my hair at all when I curl it. Right? Let me just see how it But I'm not stuck up, so y'all gotta stop saying that. This motherfucker always finna fight somebody. First off, people used to tell me, so I had to let these hoes know I ain't give a fuck. No, but for real though. I did used to be about to fight, or I ain't even gonna say be about to. I did used to always fight, but that's because everybody used to be coming for me and trying me like I was some weak ass bitch or something. 
I'm like, no. And that's when I used to be like little, like I used to be short and like quiet and sweet. So people used to think like, oh yeah, we can walk all over her. We can bully her. Never. I don't get bullied. That's what I'm talking about. Um, this next one says, you feel like you're better than other people because of how you look. That sounds dumb. You sound dumber than you look. What the fuck? And it was a fake page, so. But how do I feel like I'm better than somebody with how I look? I'm cute. Like, I'm not going to downplay myself, but I'm not the baddest bitch. I don't have the fattest ass. I don't got the best shape. I don't got the most money in the world like how do i feel like i'm better than somebody by how i look because i don't walk around here looking like a bum or acting stank like i don't know what's wrong with y'all and next time come off the real page and not no fake one Fuck. you look like a cheater how does somebody look like a cheater please 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 explain to me how can somebody look like a cheater? Like, make that make sense. Like, you finna tell somebody, oh, you look like a cheater because you light skin. You like a cheater because you dark skin. You like a cheater because, like, what? That don't even make no sense. Like, how can somebody look like a cheater? Like, make that make sense. Y'all, yeah. oh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not bad to sleep. Mm. This next one says, well, my first impression of you was that I thought you were fine as hell, cool, seemed chill, goofy, but I can also, but can also be mean too. And my opinion on you now is that nothing changed, but you became my friend. You always stay fine as hell to me, thick as hell, because you a baddie and I hope one day we can link up. Thank you. 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 Um... This next one says, ooh, ouch. You was cool and funny. We had the same attitude about everything. Me and your teeth were the fucking classic. We had some differences and kind of grew apart, but we forever locked in. I want nothing but the best of little retarded ass. We definitely had some classics. We definitely... Are still locked in, and if I'm retarded, you're retarded, and that's just period. Um, this girl crazy. Why she keep following and following me? I love you now. We sister wives. Girl, first off, <laughs> you used to be following and following me. I used to be like, why is this girl blocking and unblocking me? Like, what's wrong with her? Like, is she slow? Like, I'm like, oh, I do not like this bitch. Like, she's being weird. Like, I hate weird people. But now, like you said, we sister wives. <laughs> you my sister for real, though. Like, I love you. And who knew? Who knew? Out of all people in the world, me and you would have got cool. Like, out of everybody... Who knew we, you and I, would have became friends? Oh, you are. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you why I hate doing my own hair. Because I hate doing my hair. <laughs> it is thick. So. I hate doing my own hair, but why well, pay somebody else to do it when you can do your own hair? This next one says, he 
hair gotta be crazy. Her mouth always wet. Why would you say that? What is wrong with you? Wait. Why would you say that? None of my followers gonna think. No, I lost the comb. Oh, why would you even say something like that? What's wrong with you? That was just dumb. Dumb, dumb. Y'all, dumb. It's not my fault. That is not my fault. And that was some sick ass shit to say. Kids watch my my videos. <laughs> my family watch my videos. And you're going to say something dumb like that. I'm going to show you how I get my curls a real cute once I get done. Um, let me see. Let's see. I thought I had my hair parted out. I did, but I guess not. I guess it came. Mm -mm -mm. Um, this next one says stuck up. How? I'm 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 not stuck up. Like, why do people think I'm stuck up? Like, I'm not stuck up. I'm not. Like, that don't even make no sense. There's no way you could tell me I'm stuck up. Because I'm going to argue you down. Because I know. I'm not stuck up. I ain't never been stuck up. Why would I be stuck up? Y'all be stuck up. Um, <clears throat> my back hurt. This one says, I thought you were so tough and mean. And once I got to know you, you was really nice and loving with a big heart. You're real genuine. I love that about you. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm still tough. I'm, I still am like a bitch. Here between the tire and the curb. But I am nice. Like, especially when it comes to like people out. I care about and I love like I will go beyond but um I, you don't even gotta worry about that you I hate curling my hair um, I'm almost done with this side I'm doing my hair for my uncle's funeral. It's tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow. It's Monday. My bad. Today's Saturday. Oh, my God. I need a break. This one <coughs> says... I thought you were going to be mean and stuck up female who looked down on everybody last night after I was real shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. I thought you were a mean stuck up female who looked down on everybody last night after I was real shit. Well, I didn't you ask you why would you feel like that? And you told me why you feel like that, but that's crazy. I'm not like that at all. Like, I'm... Probably one of the sweetest people you will ever meet. Now, I do got my day, but I'm not stuck up. I don't look down on people. Who am I to look down on somebody? Like, I 
I'm not nobody. I'm no better than nobody else. Like, I would never look down on nobody. Like I said before, you have to be humble. And I'm very humble. Like, And I know it's, like, cringy saying that you're humble. But I'm humble. Like, I would never look down on somebody else. Try to belittle somebody else. Like, no. I'm not that type of person. So, that's the last thing we gotta worry about. I look like Shirley Temple with these damn curls. But wait till I break them up. I thought you was cute with that little attitude on you. And I heard you used to beat bitches up. But thank you. Of course I'm cute. And yes, I did used to beat bitches up. Because bitches just had me fucked up. Trying to play with me like I'm some weak ass bitch or something. No, nah, but for real. I did used to beat bitches up. Damn! damn! Not no more. I changed my life. I let go and I let God. Period. Um. When I first met you, you was whining. To this day, you still whining. My outcome of you is you the baby. Ha! I needed some shit with some bobby. It's like, no. Um. I don't whine, I don't whine, I don't whine. I'm not a whiner. Never been a whiner. I just be happy to get my point across. Well, if that's considered whining, then I guess I'm the baby, period. Excuse me. Mean ass bitch. You was a mean ass bitch. You stupid. God. I'm not mean. Y'all mean. Y'all used to torture me. Y'all used to beat me. Y'all, let me tell y'all, that was another family member. That was my cousin. And she said I was a mean ass bitch. Let me tell you, they used to beat me. They used to torture me. They used to lock me in closets. Everything. Like, I should have been calling the police on them hoes. Because they used to torture us. Beat us with stuff. Let their friends beat on us. That's just the worst. We went through it. We got we had a bad. But not least, says when I first met you, you was talking crazy. When I first met you, you was talking crazy. I never have a bad bitch like you, baby. Girl, first off, you heard me say that at work. And you gonna steal it. First off, them song lyrics. Stop stealing song lyrics. Little girl. Stop stealing people's song lyrics. The fuck? I probably was talking crazy, but still. You can't steal somebody's lyrics. Therefore, I'm not stealing a thing. Boy, if you don't get
Okay, so now that I'm done flat ironing and curling, um, I'm going to take my Edge Define, my Satanics Edge Define. Take my razor. All right, look like this. Can I tell y'all a secret on buying an edge control? So, uh, this is the secret that I know about buying edge control. My secret about buying edge control is one first thing is you don't, um, you need to read the edge control. And you need to make sure that the edge control does not is not like conditioning. It's not um, oil based because that's why the edge control. Like a lot of people here be like, um, like waving up and stuff. That's that's the reason. You just gotta read your edge control. But that right there, the Titanic is the best edge control for, for, um, what the fuck? It's the best edge control for feeding, for, um, any type of braids. I, I have literally probably one person who say this is control um don't work on their hair but anybody else works on so then i take my pink and i've had this since march and i literally use this for anything and everything like i usually use it for my um my um like to take off my funnels and stuff with some alcohol. That's what I use this for. Let it be. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, I take it. I'm just rub it through my hair. It's not gonna my hair don't be looking greasy. I just play with it until it looked the way I wanted to. I'm finna cut this piece because, excuse me, I don't even want to rip out. I don't have this issue any other motherfucking time, but today. I know y'all probably like, why she put some? I don't do this to people here, but I put all the extra on my hair because I be needing to lay. I, I like my hair to lay a certain way on my head. Yeah.
And then I bought this from the beauty supply by my house. So I put them there. Um, how am I supposed to put this in? Because this go this way. I have a, no, I can't put that in. Some of these go certain ways. Like this one. Some of these go the wrong way. This don't. I don't know how to put this in though. Um, I bought the one that says 60. This one is a little one. It's a kit. I mean, kit. I'm talking about kit. Kiss. Um, love. And then the one that's says buff but it's like this one why can't actually I can't see oh no could it go think this right. Nope, it ain't. And it gotta come out. But I don't wear my hair no like bent no other way. So I wear everything on this side. So I'm probably gonna be able to wear that one. I gotta find them that go on this side. But that's the final touches. I'm gonna make sure I leave in the description um where I got my flat irons from. But other than that, make sure you all like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn my post notification bell. Um, make sure you guys watch all my other videos. I will be having more and more content for you guys. I just be so, so busy. But that's not an excuse. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you next time on SKPTV. Peace.